From time to time here at Tech Yes City, I bring up videos like these where there are really good deals, not just for people building a new system, but also for people who may need some new components. Take for instance, DDR4 memory, a gigabyte stick posted internationally from Cambona. Now, when you put this in the cart and you see the price tag, you've just got to make sure that you don't crack a boner. Now for some other really good deals down under an Aussie, which in the later half of the video will be having a full a detail of all the good 20% off deals on eBay at the moment. If you put in the coupon code PEPPY on checkout, you can get a Ryzen 5 2600 for just over 200 Aussie dollars. Phenomenal value for money considering this is posted to your door. And then you can also get a motherboard, either an X370 from Gigabyte or a B350 from Asus for just over 80 AUD. Now you do have to be careful with the 300 series boards. They may need a BIOS update. So if it's your only PC that you're building, may wish to go with a B450 from MSI for a little bit over $100 after you use that coupon code. But besides that, let's go through the rest of the deals here and see how much money we can save. So for international deals with the cam boner aside, we've got here some thermal paste, 15 gram tube. You guys recommended this in previous comment sections and it's going for $4.30. This stuff apparently cools close to MX4 levels and I'm gonna be testing that on the channel very soon. I've ordered myself a tube of this already. So if you need a massive amount of thermal paste for doing builds long into the future, then this has you covered. Then if you're after a triple pack of ring fans RGB with the controller, then these iGos, they look really good. Uh, a friend of mine ordered some of these locally on the Gold Coast. I've ordered myself a three pack as well. Gonna see how well they can spice up, especially a high end build for 25 US dollars posted to your door. Now the last deal we got up here international off AliExpress is the i7 2600 Xeon equivalent. This is going for 62 US dollars posted to your door. And now a lot of people are telling me that they like to use i7s over i5s, even if it's a later gen i5, a lot of people apparently prefer an earlier gen i7 in used builds. So this coming in at $62 is also gonna use less power than the i7 variant since that has its uh, outdated HD graphics on there, which really isn't gonna do a whole lot for you. Anyway, for the folks over in the US of A, you can't say the yes don't love you when you pull up deals like this. The Acer Predator monitor going for 550 US dollars, G-Sync IPS 144 Hertz. This is that monitor for people who want the high refresh rates, but they still want the visual fidelity and they wanna remain competitive. This one does it all and for this price, it is coming a little bit expensive, but it's pretty much one of the best in slot monitors for gaming. Next up on eBay is the eight core Ryzen 1000 series. Now, usually a lot of the times I always recommend the 2000 series over the 1000 series, uh, but the eight core 1700X going for 170 US dollars posted to your door is no joke. You don't have to worry about updating a BIOS on a B350, for example, and it will give you phenomenal performance, especially if you're a video editor on the budget and especially also since DDR4 memory is finally starting to come down in price as well. So loving the price tag of this, but also loving some of the prices of these SSDs. $65 for 512 gigabytes of silicon power storage. And then if you're after a one terabyte solution, then there's a Samsung M.2 Evo 860 going for 130 US dollars. Now for graphics cards, the 10 series are starting to sell out. So the prices are reasonable, but the best deal I could find on a graphics card is the RX 580 Armor 8 gigabyte edition from MSI going for 210 listed price. But you can also apparently get a $20 rebate, bringing it down to 190 USD, which at this price, it is a phenomenal mid-range card and it will serve you well. But now it's time for the grand finale for the Aussies down under. We've got 20% off here on eBay using the coupon code PEPPY. And the first deal, as we said in the intro, the Ryzen 5 2600. Seriously, guys, get on this for a 208 Aussie. I bought a heap of these. There's also the motherboards, the X370s and the B350s going for really cheap as well. And the B450s, of course. Uh, but moving on with graphics cards now, there's the RX 580 uh, from MSI as well. This is the Armor 8 gigabyte edition. This is going for cheap in the States, but also going out cheap in Oz as well. 300 Aussie dollars. Uh, after you use that coupon code. So it's a phenomenal price considering it's posted to your door, you're paying GST. Uh, but if you're after an Nvidia card, then unfortunately a lot of the 10 series cards have sold out. So the prices of them, uh, at least what's left on eBay is overpriced in my opinion. 
uh, except for maybe the 1063 gigabyte version, they're going for around 250 AUD. So not a bad price if you're into 1080p gaming and you can uh, manipulate the settings to keep the VRAM usage under three gigabytes, which is very easy to do. Uh, but the RTX 2070 definitely gets a mention. Coming in at around 760 AUD after you use that coupon code, this beats out a GTX 1080. And I believe in time, it'll get closer to that 1080 Ti than ever before. So it's actually, as I said in my review, it's not a bad price performance card. Uh, we're not even looking at the RTX features, which I honestly place very little weight on them, especially after Battlefield 5, and I played Metro Exodus as well, and that was just tanking performance. Uh, but for the raw price performance for current titles out there, it is beating a 1080. It's also pretty power efficient, and it's the latest and greatest 2000 series card. But also know for a fact that Galaxy do a good job of whacking a solid cooler on there that will remain quiet as well. But next up here, if you're after a monitor, a really good one for gaming, then AOC have you covered for 476 Aussie dollars, 144 hertz, 27 inch. And I know for a fact AOC know what they're doing when it comes to implementing overdrive and also getting the input lag right as well. But if you're after something a little bit cheaper, then there's a 24 inch, 144 hertz monitor going for 263 Aussie dollars or after you use that coupon code. So not a bad deal at all. Now, when it comes to eBay sales, I always look for storage. It's one of those things that I pretty much go to first. I couldn't find any one terabyte or two terabytes going for good prices uh, as opposed to the previous sale where I was getting brand new one terabyte hard drives for I think like 39 AUD, which was a bargain. Uh, but this time around, SSDs are really the only thing worth getting. 32 Aussie dollars for a Western Digital 120 gigabyte SSD. And then also if you're after a 240 gigabyte, then Kingston have them going for 47 Aussie. Uh, definitely gonna order some of those 120s as they definitely help uh, when it comes to uh, not just selling a PC, but also making sure that someone who buys a PC off you is very happy as well. Or if you're using it for a personal build, you'll definitely wanna get an SSD, especially at $30. There's no excuse not to. And now for the last two deals I'm gonna pull up here for you guys is a sound system. I use the Logitech Z906. It's just the best purchase I've had in a long time. And when I do a top 10 list uh, later on this year, this is gonna pretty much get number one. This is a 5.1 surround sound system that just goes so hard. And especially for the money, uh, which you can get for around about 320 Aussie dollars per your door, it's an absolute bargain. I think I paid more for mine and I even got that on sale in the past. Uh, now, if you don't need the 5.1 setup, then they've got the Z623, uh, which is equally as good. It has a really good subwoofer, but only has two speakers, but it's great for a desktop setup. So if you guys are using headphones all the time, I do recommend getting a speaker setup uh, for long-term use as it will help uh, keep your ears intact for years and years to come. I've had a lot of people who have been using headphones for years and years, and they tell me that their hearing's actually damaged. So it's one of those things I do caution you guys Grab yourself a good pair of speakers, especially at these prices. Uh, but speaking of headphones, I don't know, lastly, uh, before I get on out of here, if I should recommend a deal like this. There's a headset here going for 10 Aussie dollars. And it's not only the fact that it's 10 Aussie dollars, like it's really cheap. If you need to get something for your kids or whatever, it's really cheap. But the problem I have with it is I don't have any experience with cheap headsets like these. If anyone's tried them and they can recommend them, then sure, I can put the link in the description below. Anyway, guys, I'm not sure about this headset. Let me know in the comment section below if I should be uh, listing things like this. I uh, love your thoughts and opinions as always, but also if you have some really good deals of your own, be sure to drop them in the comment section as well, and I'll update the description because uh, some of these deals, they go pretty quickly. So all the links will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button. And I'm gonna get back to this RX 590 benchmarking. It's the fat boy edition, so going to give you a review on that soon so stay tuned and i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye